made it to the top. I think we're all sucking a little wind. Walk back to the pickup, find a new spot, do it all over again. Don't believe the guy that says I wouldn't have it any other way, like Cody probably said numerous times already. I would rather have it another way. Am I right? Yeah. You know, you kind of get to a point where we shouldn't have to suffer anymore. We should just go ahead and kill one. I'm all in. <laughs> I'm all in. <sighs> There's a mile. Oh, I think it's that far. Is it? Maybe it is. But we're in this kind of, we to that thing, so. Right on that timber line, just to the right, maybe?
setup was great. The bull was moving up at the draw. And so I got up here close as we could get to him and bugled and pressured him. Once we got him to commit, Donnie took over the calling and pulled him right through the shooting lane. Oh. Donnie said that what? if we hung a trail camera, he'd come in and get it. So I thought, why not? We'll get some pictures of grizzly bears. No risk on my part, because Donnie will be coming in to get it. So. <laughs> right, Donnie? What's that? Did you say, yep? Yep. My bag doesn't get bloody. It doesn't smell like dead elk when you're hiking around the grizzly country. And I'm out hunting for my elk. Grizzlies aren't hunting for me at the same time. Good. Right. 
two, three, We've got half the elk each on our back. The reason we're making it one trip is I don't want to walk into this aspen thicket after we leave it for an hour or two and then come back in and take a chance at a bears on it. So thick, thick grizzly area, taking all the safety precautions. So we've got it all loaded on. We're gonna head around the ridge here, circle back down and head out, get the meat back into the shade and get it cooled. And hopefully if we get back in time Maybe uh, go try to find one for Donnie. Get a Labor Day double. So we're good. That's right. truck with the elk and driving back out we're gonna run to camp grab a few things then head into town and get the elk in a cooler it's getting up to about 80 degrees today so definitely don't want to leave it hanging out we'll get it in get it cooled and hopefully uh, run into Dirk and Trent at the butcher maybe they're packing an elk out and taking one to the butcher today as well Just dropped the meat off at the meat processor, getting it cooled off. Brought our bags to the car wash, sprayed off all of the blood. Hopefully, keep the bears away while we're out on getting the next elk. We went. We went to we, we did. <laughs> we're like, well, we can take this road. It's a half mile that way, and it's going to put us another half mile back. Or we can go up this face, and it was like, yeah, it's only we brush this mile tall. There. It's like, we get up there, for grizzly bears. and it's a bunch of berries, and then the berries are picked. <laughs> it's blow down. Every and stump is, has been just the brush just, is this tall. You yeah. can't. You could step on a bear, and yeah. then and it was yeah. blow down central, and it was like, and it was hold vertical. on. You went through blow down. I took him on a blow down march today. A lot of Did Dirk say anything about blow downs? Am I? No. You didn't complain? <laughs> no. Complain about uh, if there was ever a t-shirt I was going to get Dirk about whining about anything, it would be blowdowns. He didn't oh, whine. Here, oh, here we go. Here no, we go. Say, that's your, here that's we your go. He gave you 60% you of a bull kill. I don't whine. I might you curse whine a little. like crazy. You <laughs> whine <laughs> like a blowdown. If I have to step over one more blowdown, I'm going to blow my cork. And I might say it in in my big time wrestler voice. Yes. My big time wrestler voice. Oh, you guys step over another freaking blowdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, guys. Went back, back to camp after that uh, long hike we did this morning. And Corey Jacobson killed a bull. So, which is awesome. So they just got back to camp as we were leaving. We actually took a bath in the creek. Felt incredible. We're just waiting. We're going to put the old altitude to the test today. We're going to kill an elk. Tonight's the night. Cody said it was the night, didn't he? He did. He said he had a feeling. He had a feeling. It's always a good sign, so. I have a feeling too. Do you? Mm -hmm. We're going to hike down an old cat road, do some tutti flutti in, call one in, and shoot it. Yeah, we're excited. Took a bath in the creek. We didn't show that just because it had some minor nudity in it. And uh, wash the face up. I might put some more, apply some more paint here shortly. I'm not sure. What do you think? Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't? No. No? But it's your thing, so. 
I don't know. We'll see. But brand for a bugle. Keep pulling for me, guys. Keep pulling for me. <laughs> That, my friends, is called a wolf track. This is the first time I've ever seen a wolf track is up here. That's probably the, I don't know, I think we've seen two or three now, I think. Yeah, we saw some yesterday, too. They're huge. They're by, I mean, it's, it's like that big round. I'd still like to see one at some point. This could be why these things are so quiet. You got, you got wolves running in an area. In an area. We may not hear them howl, but if they're if they've got a presence in the air, a lot of times they'll shut the elk down. So it could be why we're not having a lot of a lot of people. Maybe not. It's a good excuse. It's a great excuse. Tonight's a new night though. That track's about a, three days old. Yeah. So I don't know. We're gonna get him tonight. I'm left high and dry by myself. We got one rewipe and one uh, log sitter. So. We were hunting. Isn't, aren't we supposed to be hunting? What? I gotta do some paperwork. Trent's gotta do paperwork. Well, we're just keep doing our thing and hiking and calling, hiking and calling, hiking and calling. Just searching for that one bull that wants to play. So just keep at it. We'll find one. Trent's gonna kill a hog. Super pumped next week. We're headed to Colorado with the guys from Pure Elevation, XO, Mountain Gear, Steve Spack, Lenny, Tyler, and Jason. It'll be a backpack trip for 10 days, so it's gonna be a wild ride. We got a bowl going. Cody and I heard one dirt bugled up here. Sound like it was about I don't know, six miles up here somewhere. We're gonna close some distance, gather our thoughts, and kill him. You ready? I'm always ready. I know you are. You look ready. Let's do this.
sight. Starts to get fun in that little game, you know. Try to outsmart him.
flooding. <laughs> Most intense and disappointing and fun and exciting and stressful calling sequences I've ever been in. Two bulls coming in on us got wind in my booth and then went bar chasing. I see he must hit it out there. Not that bull. Same one or different one. Have you heard him? 
if you like this thing, please subscribe to our channel and tell a friend about it. In the closing hours, we got bugles over here. We got bugles over here. We got bugles over here. It's pretty awesome. We haven't heard a bugle in almost two days. And now there's four. So never give up on this, guys. Keep going after it. Keep going after it because it will happen. It's just a matter of time. We're going to kind of duck tail and get out of here. Come back in the morning. Oh, we could speed it up and show it in like, and we could show it in fast motion. This is me depressed. We just shot the most awesome uncut ever. 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 And it was the longest one we've ever done. Yeah, we were answering all these questions, going through it, and this guy forgot to turn the mic on. Second time's always better. It's not Wow! It was rough. It was rough. Sleep, little sleep deprived, not gonna lie. We're still, we're still going. Yep, we're going. That was really bad. That was tough. That was tough. Okay, we're gonna go back through this again, guys. What I have on the black book. Grizzly bear cam. Yeah, Corey's bolt. What'd you guys think of that whole encounter? That was a daylight call in. They found the bull the night before, called it in, shot it before seven o'clock in the morning. He made two shots on it. That was one we've always talked about. If you can get a second arrow on an animal, absolutely take the shot. You know, Corey, like you said, he made shot in the in the paunch on the first one. The crazy thing about it, where that arrow lodged in the hip, it was bleeding immensely, but we got a second shot up there in the vitals. Yeah, it was awesome. The coolest thing about this hunt was, like I said, the grizzly bear cam. We don't know if it has seen anything yet. You won't but, know until a couple more videos, but they set up a game camera on the carcass. If yeah. you guys missed it, he talks about, let's set up a game camera here on the carcass. I don't know, going back into a carcass in the willows. Hilarious. In bear country. <laughs> It's oh, gonna be a good one. Just let yes, you guys know. It's gonna be awesome. Up. So that's coming up in a couple hunts. Uh, one tag per state. Out of state, what we did is we just bought one tag for the four of us in each state. So instead of us, all of us going on a hunt, all having four tags for the born and raised crew, we decided just to have one guy per state have a tag. And so Wyoming, once we left Oregon, Trent was up. There's getting a lot of questions about, is that a draw? Is it a, a over oh. the counter? That is a general tag for Wyoming, but as a non-resident is a draw. It's about an every other year draw. There's a lot of units you can hunt on the general. And we won't, you know, a lot of people are asking, hey, what area were you guys yeah. at? What mountain, what units? No, no. We'll never answer that question, you guys, just out of respect of our own hunting grounds and our, and, our, and our friends' hunting grounds. It's just one thing we just won't ever address. So we were in Wyoming in the general zone. There you go. That's where we were at. Colorado? Uh, yeah, Colorado. Yeah. Cody had the tag in Colorado. So every state, each of us had a different tag after Oregon. I had Wyoming, Cody has Colorado. Uh, that's a general tag over the counter went to the store took the cameras in Then we tried to film it and they said what are you doing with cameras in here? And we said we're filming Thank buying a tag <clears throat> and they said uh, no not a chance you have to cease and desist Yep, and so, so we couldn't use any of that footage But bought the tag over the counter and in Colorado from there We jumped to Idaho where Trevor has the tag another over-the-counter tag can in, go get and one. actually in Idaho Most zones you can get two tags. That is true. Yeah, or yeah, hunt multiple true. zones So yeah, Idaho is a little different. It's a it's basically a, a group of units So three to four or two units that you can hunt on a tag so you can get but you can buy two tags There as a non-resident over the counter over and the then uh, Montana, Steve's got a tag in Montana. Montana's also like Wyoming, it's a general license. You have to put in for it, but they have a quota and they didn't meet the quota, so they had leftover tags. They went on sale and we bought one over the counter, over the internet. Leftover. Leftover tag, so that's how it is. So all the stuff that we've hunted, Oregon is the same way as a resident or non-resident, over the counter where we hunted. You need to buy your tag before the, light, the season opens or if you don't, you gotta pay a fee. But like Colorado or Idaho, you can buy it during the season over the counter. Perfect, uh, I do have some questions real quick and a bunch more emails that just came mm. up. Guys, the emails have been coming like crazy. It's awesome to talk with you guys. We're trying to answer every single one. It's just been crazy, crazy time lately. So I'm trying to do the email answering. Cody's doing more of the, uh, the business end of things a lot of times. And so you'll get either one of us usually, not all the time, but thank you guys so much for the feedback. It sounds like you guys like the project and like the videos and we pretty, love bringing pretty them amazing. to you. So you guys are the reason that we're still doing this and that we were up till 3.30 last night. Here we go from wiki 00049005. Okay. Oh, what is your fave bow sight and fave stabilizer? Shot spot hog sights for 
I don't know how many years now, 15 plus years, I think, mm -hmm. that I've shot it. Um, shooting a Tommy Hog, which it's got a five pin sight housing on it and it's an adjustable slider. Awesome, stabilizer is Spider? Spider Archery, it's a born and raised edition. It, they I'd actually have a born and raised edition. I don't know if they do on their website, do Not they? Not yet, no, working on that, getting that out to you guys. But, you guys uh, need to talk to them about it. I'm shooting an eight inch with I think four ounces of weight up front. And Trent, what are you shooting for stabilizer? I honestly don't shoot a stabilizer. I just, I don't have anything against them or anything. I just try to hold my arm still when I shoot. So I don't know. Moving on, Anthony Padilla. Pad Padilla. Butchered. I, ha I had a Spanish teacher in high school. Oh, nice. Same. It's good for you. What do you guys do when you locate a herd bull and he is pushing his cows away from you? This has happened to me several times chasing bulls in Northern Idaho. Thank you for your videos. Love every single one of them. So a bull, a lot of times, what we've found is, is you're going to be thinking, because we've had this question before too. Well, they're just he's just walking away and bugling. We'll never get on that bull. Not true. He's got a place where he wants to go from what we have found. He's headed to a location. So say it's in the morning and there's a bull and he just keeps on moving off and off. But you keep bugling and he'll bugle. And you keep bugling and he'll bugle, but he just keeps moving away. He's got a place that he wants to be. He doesn't want to just turn around and come fight you or check out who you are or whatever. He will locate his sound off so you can find him if you want to go to him. But he's got a place where he wants to take his cows and wants to go to, most of the time it's bed or go to water, depending on if it's evening or versus morning. In Wyoming, when we're in Wyoming like we are right now in the series, it was weird. The bulls would just kind of turn and, and they would come in a lot of times. And w when we get to Colorado, the next state, we chase them things like forever hound yeah. dogs. So a lot of times if they're moving off, we just keep following them and keep following them and don't give up on them. I mean, it's like it's leaving elk, elk to go find elk. I'd rather, okay, they're, they're heading in a direction. We can't hear them. Okay, well, looking at the topography, maybe he's going to be over this ridge or in this draw. And we'll just keep trying to dig and dig and dig until you find that bull. So a lot of times just don't give up on them. Keep going after them, keep going after them. And all of a sudden, boom, they're bedded down, the bull sounds off in the same spot a few times, you move in and you can kill him. Because he likes where his cows are. He's yep. got his cows, he knows they're gonna stay there. He doesn't have to go find them or go round them up. They're bedded down, he's comfortable with that. And so he can take the time out to come and hopefully look you down and fight you. The other cool thing about that is you get in close to the herd, and they're bedded down and he's coming, instead of ruining, worrying about the all, however many eyes and ears with all the cows being involved, you just have one set of eyes and one set of ears from just the bull. So not other things can bust and screw you up in the middle of the setup, so. For sure. That's something that we've done a lot of and we call it midday madness. Yep, a lot, of people, are, madness. A lot of people are asking time of year what's going on. We're pretty much trying to do this day by day, so that season launched the 26th of August in Oregon. We are there in Oregon until about the 30th was when we left and we headed to Wyoming. Season opened in Wyoming September 1st, Friday. So we're there for a period of nine days. Drop into Colorado on the 10th of September. We're in Colorado through the 20th. You hit Idaho on the, the 20th because we drove all yeah, night. We were there through the end of the month. Through Yep, through the 30th. And then from there up to Montana, October 1st through the 12th. We stayed a couple extra days there where we didn't plan on it. Hunting with the Onyx guys. So that kind of gives you an idea of the dates. We bugled our faces off from the 26th of August to the 12th of October. The whole time. Yep. Morning, noon, all day long. From daylight till dark. The way we hunt, we call a lot. We're very aggressive. It's it's worked out for us. I don't have anything else. Do you have anything else? Uh, people are asking questions on back order stuff and pre-order stuff mm. just on the website. Um, shirts are ordered. They should be here first part of next week, mid to next, mid to late next week, I guess. We'll start shipping out to you guys. So we'll beat that December 1st um, on the pre-orders for Land of the Free. We've got hats coming. We're about two weeks out on the hats. Everything that we're working on, it'll get here before Christmas, just to let you guys know that. Calls are the other one. We're back ordered. We blew through all the diaphragms that we had and bugle tubes. Bugle tubes are gonna take a little bit longer because first I didn't have the material, just FYI, but FYI. we will get those to you as soon as we can. Calls, Phelps, I'm pretty much gonna have to tell him that he can't go on his mule deer hunt so we can build you guys some calls. Bingo. So, so we'll get those. Carol's tag up soon as we can appreciate all of the support there we're just thrilled and honored big time yeah. big time keep checking out the website too for more <laughs> cool stuff as we get stuff we're trying to get stickers too i want a window decal for my pickup too we're working really hard on that kind of stuff keep checking the website for that uh all the all website. the stuff that you can enter into yeah down website below. 
bornandraisedoutdoors.com. All spelled out, just to let you know. Copy, I should have made that clear. Click that, uh, right now you're watching this video, there's a little arrow on the bottom of your screen. Click that arrow, it'll throw down a bunch of descriptions. You can enter for all the contests, the Benchmade Knife Contest, the XO Mountain Pack Contest. Elk 101. Elk 101 course. University course. of Elk Hunting He's course. giving away a course every single day. Enter into that stuff. Once you enter into that once, you're into it. You are. You don't have to re-enter every single state or every single, um, every yeah, single video. True. That is not true. You should enter in as many times as no, possible. Stay. That is not true either. <laughs> that is not true at all. <laughs> don't do any of the things that I, that I just said. Go ahead. Knife giveaway and pack giveaway every state. We got new contests. That's me apologizing. Yep. Okay, and we got some more cool stuff coming. Vortex, their stuff's in the mail. It's on its way. It's crispy boots. Crispy boots for some people. Working through some grand prize stuff that's gonna be huge. Cannot give it away yet. Not at all. It's going to be ginormous. A it, lot of things. It's gonna be a... Uh, spoiler alert, a lot of things that you guys have been asking for may or may not come true. Yep. So we're working through that. So we're just uh, thrilled. You guys are lifeblood. We thank you for your time. The amount of messages that we get about you know, my family gets home every night and my kids are sitting there and my wife, my girlfriend, all that is just mind blowing to us that, you know, here we're just a couple guys elk hunting and sharing the adventure with you guys. And we're just so thrilled that you guys taking the time out of your day to, to watch it and enjoy it. So. Pretty special, very special. I'm done. I'm out. I, I don't have any more. I'm, my, I'm a little hoarse. You sound really hoarse. Yeah. Get some sleep. I need some sleep. Boom. Right.